Hello, in this video we're going to look at this perfect complement's utility function where utility is the minimum of x and y divided by 3 where x is units of good x, y is units of good y. We're told here that the consumer buys 30 units of good y. Given that, what is the consumer's income if the price of good y is $4 and the price of good x is $20? Here's our utility function and again we're told that y equals 30 so for y I'll plug in 30 and 30 divided by 3 becomes 10. So here we have utility is the minimum of x or 10. So it makes sense for x to equal 10. Here's why. The maximum utility this person can achieve is 10 if x is greater than or equal to 10. For example, if x equals 12, utility will still equal 10. Utility will be the minimum of 12 or 10, which is 10, the smaller number. On the other hand, if the person consumes less than 10 units of good x, utility falls below 10. If x equaled 8, for example, utility will only equal 8. The utility of the minimum of 8 or 10 here is just going to be 8. So the only value that makes sense in terms of consumption for good x is going to be 10. So to recap, purchasing more than 10 units of good X does not increase utility given the consumer purchased 30 units of good Y. So the consumer will buy 10 units of good X. So the utility maximizing consumption bundle here is going to be 10 units for good X and 30 units for good Y. We're trying to figure out what the consumer's income is in this problem. To recap, the price of good X is $20 and the price of good Y is $4. The budget constraint is given by income equals the price of good x times units of good x plus the price of good y times units of good y. So now we're going to make our substitutions into this formula. 20 for the price of good x. Units of good x is 10. $4 for the price of good y. 30 units for good y. 200 plus 120 means the consumer has $320 of income. Okay, that's it.